Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a combo builder skill with variables, and I'm going to show you how to use a multi-strike skill, or how to make one rather. So let's uh, start a game here, and I've got a little event set up here that just basically controls a variable and starts a battle. So it's setting a variable, um, in my case it's number 19, setting it to zero. Um, so I'm going to show you the combo builder skill and uh, the multi-strike skill. So what's going to happen is if you use multi-strike it's just going to do one attack. But if you do the combo builder skill it's going to add two swings to that attack up to five, swing, five swings. So you can use two combo builders and then multi-strike and it'll hit five times. So to start off I'm just going to stop the enemy so he doesn't just wreck us. Now I'll show you multi-strike by itself. It's just a basic attack by it if you use it by itself. But if you do combo builder first, it's going to add two swings to your multi-attack. So we'll use our multi-strike now. One, two, three swings. So in two turns, you can get three attacks off if you use this combination. And if you use it twice, it'll work up to five swings. So we can use three turns to get five attacks. We go combo builder. Combo builder again. And then multi strike. One, two, three, four, five. And we actually got a critical in there too. Nice. So this would be uh, an ability you'd want to use uh, on like harder battles where you need every round and it, it'll give a little bit of dynamics so that you don't, you're not just spamming attack every round. You actually have something for the player to do. So let me show you how I made that. It's actually not too complicated. Um, it looks like there's going to be a lot in the, um, the note tags, but it's just copy pasting. It's pretty simple. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, if you have any uh, damage uh, formulas that use variables. You need to control your variables and uh, sometime at the beginning of the game. All you have to do is set them one time, like at the very beginning, do an auto run. Um, like at the very beginning of the game you can do a new event, set the trigger to parallel process, um, and then control uh, variables. And then select the variable that you're going to be using. In this case it's going to be number 19 for me, but you can put it anywhere. And then just set it to zero or whatever you want. <clears throat> and then you can do a new event page with a self switch or, uh, yeah, if you're going to do this at the beginning, you'd want to do a self switch. And then you go new page, check for self switch A, this would be a trigger action button. And then that's it. And then from any point on uh, later on in that game, that uh, you'll n you shouldn't have any problems with uh, this variable because you've already declared it. So you probably have multiple variables that you want to declare. And, and in my game, where did I put that event at? I canceled it. Um, in my game, I have like an opening sequence. So um, after I do my opening tutorial, I'm controlling all of my variables right here. So I'm declaring all my variables right at the beginning, and then the player never comes back to this point. You know, so declared all my variables. If I use any of these skills that use uh, variables in the damage formula, they will work correctly. They won't freeze the game, and they won't do zero damage. So once you've done that, <clears throat> you're going to create a couple skills. The first skill, real easy, combo builder. You're going to set it to whatever skill type you want, cost you want, battle screen only, uh, and set it to the scope of the user. Give it an animation. Um, set this one a certain hit and give it whatever message you like. Let the player know that uh, it's going to add additional swings to your um, to your next attack. So for this, you're going to need a couple plugins. I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can get those plugins. You'll need Yanfly's core engine, you will need Yanfly's battle engine uh, core, and you will uh, also need the action sequence packs 1 and 2. Um, but you might as well get all three of them, because they're awesome. Um, so after you've named it, give it a graphic. doesn't need any damage or anything. All you're going to do is type a couple things in the note tags. You're going to do target action with brackets, change variable, and this number right here, the first number, is the, the number that you're assigning that variable to. So I've set my variable location 19. Uh, to zero at the beginning for a combo, so um, I'm adding one. Uh, I'm adding two 
to this variable when I use this skill. So you, you just type in change variable, the number of the variable that you're using, and then plus equals, and then the number that you want to increase. If you want the combo builder to add three attacks, you would just put three here. If you want it to just add an additional attack, you put one here, really simple. Then you can do action animation if you want it to show the animation. Then wait for animation if you want it to wait. Um, you could basically get rid of those if you just want it to be uh, no animation. Then you close off the target action. That's it. That's all you got to do for the combo builder. Now the multi-strike looks like a lot. It's really not. Um, if uh, you've seen a couple of my other videos on action sequences, you see that I reuse the same, uh, what is it called, action sequence that Yanfly put, uh, posted in the forums. And it's basically this thing right here, setup action, uh, display action. That's just going to show the name of the skill on the top. And then we close the setup action, really simple. Then we're going to open our target action because this is a single hit. If this is going to be a multi-hit uh, attack, like, or, uh, I'm sorry, this is going to be like a, a all enemy hit. If you're going to do the scope of all enemies, then you would put this in whole action. So you would just replace target with whole, W-H-O-L-E, and then it'll work similarly. Um, we're doing an if statement here just to make sure that if they're using like a bow or a gun or something, they don't run all the way up to point blank just to shoot right in their face. Um, this will just check to see if they're using the bow. And if, they're, if they're not, then they're just going to um, run up to them and hit them. So um, if you want, you can pause the video. I've already gone over this several times. I'm going to scroll down very slowly so that you can see what happens there. Now here is where um, we're going to create one uh, if statement and we're going to copy paste that if statement changing one number. So here's where we're going to start uh, this actual multi-strike. We're going to do perform action and then we're going to say if dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value and in the parentheses here you're going to use that same number that you're adding right here so we're uh, changing the variable 19 by adding 2 to it on our combo builder so we're going to call on that variable right here if the game variables dot value is 19 is greater than 4 now this is to specify I want up to 5 attacks and no more than 5 attacks from this but you can uh, basically copy paste this as many times as you want to have as many attacks as you like so you're going to um, say greater than 4, then you're going to action animation, it's just going to show the, the animation. We're going to change the variable 19, we're going to subtract 1 from it. Then we're going to wait for that animation, and this is changing the variable in between the animation. Uh, then we're going to action effect target, so this is actually going to issue the damage, the action effect issues the damage, and then we're going to death break, so if, it di if the enemy dies, or we die, the whole uh, thing will stop. And then since we did an if statement, we have to include an in. Um, you can't use braces like you would normally use in uh, eval unless you call for an eval. So in uh, the, the action sequence note tags, you would do if, and then you would put your eval right here. And then you would use the note tags that are already defined. And then you would do an end instead of a closing brace. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this whole thing. Just copy that by pressing Control and C. You're going to go down one line and you're going to paste it. The whole thing just repeats, so you're going to paste that. And except this time you're going to say greater than 3. And then you're going to copy that, or you don't even have to, you can just paste it again right underneath the end, greater than 2. Paste it again, greater than 1. Paste it again, greater than 0. And that's it. At the end, uh, you're going to do one action animation, wait for animation, and an additional action effect because you want it to do damage, at least you want it to hit one time if you use it. Uh, without having a combo on so that uh, well maybe you don't uh, if you don't want it to do any damage or even swing if they don't have a combo then you would just get rid of this last one this little part right here but you would need to include this uh, the bracket slash target action so looks like a whole lot really not right you can just copy paste most of that and uh, that's basically it set the scope to one enemy battle screen only give it whatever damage formula you like if you're not using armor scaling you might want to go B dot defense track or whatever but armor scaling is really really effective and uh, super cool so you might want to get armor scaling uh, you can get rid of all the, the subtraction from your damage formulas set this to HP damage uh, whatever variants are critical if you like set the message to whatever you like and that's pretty much it that's gonna let you create a, a multi-attack combo skill so hopefully you guys like this video if you did remember to give it a thumbs up like favorite share and subscribe for more content like this you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial